Hey y'all, Kimberly Grace Bowman here, and let's get this party started. this week and I am doing my very first haul video I haven't seen many and I really don't know how to do one but I'm going to do my best to do my first haul video and I bet you've never seen a haul like this and it is a vinyl record haul that's right I'm going to take you through a tour of my vinyl record collection why don't we start with the most important I have my Amy Grant collection right here and I pretty much have them all I have Unguarded, self-titled album, My Father's Eyes, Never Alone, Age to Age, Straight Ahead, and Lead Me On. I have several that are really old. I have uh, Lawrence Welk Christmas, which I forgot I had actually. There is a gnat. There is a gnat in this room right now. Where were we? The Centrals. The Hills of Home. This is a Southern Gospel. I'm not too much into Southern Gospel, as you'll see from my collection. Oh my goodness, I forgot this Amy Grant one. Amy Grant Christmas. That was my other one. So yes, I do have all of her. And the rest I have on CD. I actually have a relative. A relative of my mom's was in this group. So I have a little bit of a connection to them a little bit. So yes, singing does run in my jeans. Not my blue jeans, my DNA jeans. When I found these, I was just rescuing them at the consignment store. But Christy Wurtzen, I think is how you say her name. Very just basically soft, uh, folk kind of 70s worship. Why heart? Don't wait for the movie. Sheila Walsh's Don't Hide Your Heart. If you don't know about, much about her, she's from Scotland, I think. She's from across the pond. She can sing. I have this unopened one. I have not opened it yet. Boston Pops Orchestra Western tunes has tunes like Deep in the Heart of Texas, High Noon, Sweet Betsy from Pike, Streets of Laredo, Don't Fence Me In, The Second Century from Blue Mountain College. This is something I rescued because it has to do with Mississippi. It was a uh, singing group from the Mississippi area. And since that's where I'm from, I just decided to rescue that one the archers stand up angie lewis what's it gonna take all right brush arbor hero and this is my other sheila walsh album shadowlands y'all this is like one of the top 10 best records ever made sandy patty hymns and this is a stack of ones i have yet to listen to but was blessed with them from someone awesome who has Helped me with my supply a lot. John Michael Talbot and Terry Talbot, the painter. Benny Hester, Legacy. Keith Green. Oh, another one of Sheila Walsh's War of Love. Another awesome one that I have not taken the wrapper off of. I have not even opened this one. Mm. <laughs> cool. David Meese, Chronology. The Old Rugged Cross, Songs of Faith and Inspiration by Wayne Newton, which was influenced by my mom because she is a big fan of his. Jimmy Dean's Christmas card. Jimmy Dean's Songs of the West. So more Western tunes because y'all know I love Westerns. All right, DeGarmo and Key. How much can I say they are one of my favorites too? This is Communication. Scott Wesley Brown, one of his, which I have not listened to his yet. Michael W. Smith, another one of my all-time favorites, of course. Uh, Petra, Out of This World, I believe this is what this one is. Yeah, Out of the Not of This World. <laughs> I guess it's still Out of This World, but it's Not of This World. Connie Scott, best classic CCM to come from Canada, folks. Connie Scott, Spirit Mover. The Osmonds, hello. Hey, uh... They are cool. I have little shame whatsoever. I thought it was like just a two record thing. There's four records in this. It's this is another artist I'm unfamiliar with. I have listened to a, the first side of it. 
Jesus Now More Than Ever by Linda Hedrick, I think is how you say her name. Andre, Andre Crouch and the Disciples. Uh, another unsealed record I have yet to listen to. <laughs> Lots of them. Randy Stonehill, Equator. If you have never heard the song American Fast Food by Randy Stonehill, look it up. You will be very impressed. Michelle Pilar, I have two of her albums. I have Look Who Loves You Now and her self-titled album. I have both of those. Margaret Becker, Never For Nothing, another artist that is just so awesome. Very rock, 80s rock sound. Loretta Lynn, uh, you know I had a little country in here. Who Said God Is Dead, her more inspirational songs. Leslie Phillips, I have three of her albums. Uh, Black and White in the Gray World, Beyond Saturday Night, and Dancing with Danger. Her music is incredible. I have Evie, her hymn collection. Some of the Tennessee Ernie Ford, I have never really listened to his stuff. David Meese, another one his, Seven. Michael W. Smith, again. Look, these two albums right here got me through. I was, there was a time in my life <laughs> where these were the two albums I played over and over endlessly, but this is an amazing record. The Big Picture, Michael W. Smith. And John Gibson is another wonderful artist. His album, I have two of his. I have this one, Change of Heart, On the Run. This, this is one of those albums that, please, I'm trying to do a vlog here in neighborhood. How rude. You know how you can tend to like maybe half the record or the CD and half the record's your favorite and half, you know, they're good songs but they're not your favorite. But this is one of those records, it's like every song, not one is bored on the entire record. I have two copies. Anyways, I have two copies of Kathy Tripoli's Heart and Soul. Kathy Tricoli, another one of my absolute favorite artists. I have the Imperials, One More Song For You. Rust Half Metals. And last but not least, another DeGarmo and Key, Mission of Mercy, on which comes the song, You Can't Run From Thunder, and only a few of you will know why that song is very important to me. So thank you all for watching my vlog this week. I hope you enjoyed my little vinyl record haul and learned a little about, about my music taste. Of course, that only scratches the surface. I may just show my CDs at another time, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that particular haul. Because I have a lot of CDs too. Not as many vinyls, but I have a lot. So, thank you guys for watching. And if you like what you see on this video, please subscribe, like, and share with your friends. I will see you guys next week for another vlog. Thank you all for watching and God bless. Hey y'all, Kimberly Grace Spillman here and I am back for another vlog and this week I am <laughs> I don't really have anything to say I, I really did not I, I, I'm winging this one there's a gnat in this room right now